If we think of all topics at the center of attention of the news on technology, science and business over the last few years, it's hard to escape the impression that artificial intelligence is probably on the top of this list, as it seems to fascinate both the media and the public alike. Indeed, every day we read in the media about another wonder of artificial intelligence. We read about self-driving cars and computers that win the Go game against the World Go champion. We read that companies such as Google are making a pivot to put artificial intelligence and machine learning right in the middle of their business. Not only we read about artificial intelligence and machine learning, we already coexist side by side with them in our everyday life. When you text on your smartphone, artificial intelligence correct your spelling. Actually, when you use it, sometimes you might feel that artificial intelligence is not very intelligent, but this would probably be a topic for another discussion. Another example would be virtual assistants such as Siri or Alexa. Even simpler, uh, spam filters have improved lately so much that we might sometimes forget that our comfort of not getting much spam in our daily email is provided by artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms that work behind the scene to protect us. In short, artificial intelligence came to our life to stay and multiply, and this process seems to grow exponentially in time. The ever-growing impact of artificial intelligence on the society as a whole is so tremendous that many people these days talk about fourth industrial revolution brought upon us by artificial intelligence. This is what Sergey Brin, the co-founder of Google, said. The revolution in AI has been profound. It definitely surprised me, even though I was sitting right there. And some thinkers, such as the famed physicist Stephen Hawking, believe that artificial intelligence may eventually win and take over the human race. Some other thinkers, such as the famed entrepreneur Elon Musk, believe that the future is not as dark and that eventually the humans and the robots will end up in some sort of a symbiosis. So what are artificial intelligence and machine learning? I would assume that in the eyes of the white public, the words machine learning uh, might be associated with a picture of a robot that sits on a pile of books and reads another book uh, to learn more. And in fact, if we assume that after reading the books and learning something, the robot will go out and do something useful, this picture would not be too bad a visualization of the whole process. But still, as uh, the scientists at Geeks, uh, we would like to go a little deeper and understand how it works on a more technical level. Okay then, but where do we start? For a newcomer to a new domain, uh, the first task is usually to understand the terminology and buzzwords. In April 2017, knuggets.com found that Google searches for machine learning have exceeded for the first time searches for big data. And more to this, one can notice that the terms AI, machine learning, data science, big data, and so on are not only buzzing at comparable scales, but people sometimes use them as a substitution for one another. A friend of mine who's a statistician recently told me that while he does a similar type of research over the last 10 years, about six years ago, his fields are to be called machine learning, and about three years ago, it's now called uh, artificial intelligence. So let me start with presenting you with a short glossary of terms that would be our definitions here. First, by AI, we mean the science of making machines that achieve human-level performance on specific tasks that require some imitation of the cognitive process of the humans. For example, face recognition, speech recognition, and, uh, speech recognition and translation, chatbots that sell vacations, and so on. Now, what is machine learning? Machine learning is a subfield of AI that focuses on algorithms that teaches computers to perform a task starting directly from data rather than being explicitly programmed for the task. Next, data mining uses machine learning techniques to find actionable patterns in data. Further, when people talk about big data, they typically refer to data mining on large sets of structured 
that is numerical or unstructured data sets such as text, images, speeches, and so on. And finally, data science is a name of a new emerging profession for folks that apply statistics and machine learning to help monetizing information and data. The key point to, know he to note here is that machine learning is a core element of all of the above fields. Machine learning is what computers use to learn about the outside world, much like humans use math and physics for the same purpose. In fact, machine learning, in terms of its application, is so similar to modern day interpretation of AI that some people started to use the term machine intelligence to refer to business initiatives of numerous startups operating in this field. So, we have covered the basic terminology, including in particular the understanding that the modern day AI and machine learning are two closely related fields that power the ongoing fourth industrial revolution. And in the next video, we'll drill a little deeper into what actually AI and machine learning are about.